What's up y'all, in this video, just like every Tuesday, we are gonna announce the current standings and leaders of the Multi-Species Madness Fishing League for this winter. Um, so the plan is every Tuesday at 5 p.m. to premiere a video like this where I talk about an update on the standings and where everybody's sitting as far as um, you know places and everything, positions. And uh, 5.30 is when I'm gonna plan on going live every Tuesday. If that ever needs to change, I'll let you guys know in advance. But that's going to be the plan, so stay tuned for that. Um, so yes, so this video right after this will be my live, and we'll do the same thing every Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the scoreboard, show you guys the leaders in the standings, um, and I will link the leaders, like the top five people for most species and for most um, total combined length will be linked in all the videos. And then after showing that, we're going to get into some of the highlights and stuff like that. So let's show the leaders, talk about the highlights, and then you guys can sit around and wait for my live stream. So let's do it. All right, so here is the official scoreboard. We've got positions for most species cod as well as total combined length, and that's just going to change uh, from week to week. We'll keep adding new fish as people add them each week. Um, so here we go. Let's start with most combined species, um, and the reason why people who both have caught the same number of species aren't tied is because the tiebreaker is length. Um, so that way we don't have to deal with a whole lot of ties or anything like that. So if you see two people who have both caught one species, but they're not tied as far as most uh, species, that's because length is the tiebreaker. So whoever's caught the longest total amount of fish, um, that'll be the tiebreaker. So first place goes to uh, Bob from Any Fin as Possible with five species. A close second place is Kev from um, Any Fin as Possible. And he also has five species just slightly below uh, dad in length right there. Um, third is going to go to Bank Fishing Adventures with four species. And then um, several people with two. Fourth place is going to go to Lorenzo Rosales. Again, that tiebreaker is um, length. And then fifth place is going to go to Mike from Tribulation Ready Survival. He's also featured in Pond Hopper TV um, on their channel. Sixth place goes to Fishing Junk. Seventh place goes to Snake River Catfish Slayer Sean. Eighth place goes to Snake River Catfish Slayer Liz. Uh, ninth place goes to Catfishing Fresno. Tenth goes to Henry Harrington. Um, eleventh goes to Terry Kennedy. And twelfth goes to Pickle Outdoors. Congratulations. And then for length, uh, first place is going to go to Snake River Catfish Slayer Sean with 87 inches. A very close second, Snake River Catfish Slayer Liz with 84.75 inches. Uh, both of them each entered only three fish, and they were baby sturgeon right around 28 to 30 inches. But that was enough for them to be in first place for now. Uh, third place is Lorenzo Rosales with 76.25 inches. Fourth is Bob from Any Fin as Possible with 47.75 inches. Fifth is Kev from Any Fin as Possible with 46.25 inches. Sixth is Catfishing Fresno with 42.5 inches. Seventh is Tribulation Ready Survival with 42.25 inches. Very close behind. Um, I'm on there, but I'm not officially competing. I only got to fish for a couple hours for this thing. So I, I would be in the running kind of, but not not necessarily a competitor for this. Um, Bank Fishing Adventures is in eighth for total combined length with 35.25 inches. Fishing Junk is in ninth with 17.75 inches. Uh, Henry Harrington's in 10th with 15 and a half inches. Terry Kennedy is in 11th with nine and a half inches. And Pickle Outdoor is in 12th with 8.75 inches and if you are not entered get entered in this thing it is a ton of fun um so shout out to all those people i will have the top five for each uh category linked in the description and now let's get on to the highlights for this thing the best catches all right so congrats to the people who are leading right now and if you are not, if you're behind or if you have not entered yet, you still got plenty of time, definitely get entered. It's a ton of fun. Um, but now, just like every week, we're going to show some of the highlights, some of the best catches of each species, and some rare catches and things like that, things that I thought was cool. And uh, I'll give credit to the people who caught those fish 
and we'll do that every week. So let's get into that. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, y'all, those were some freaking awesome fish. We got some people linked down below. Definitely check them out. Stay tuned for the live stream here in a little bit. And uh, next Tuesday, we're going to do the exact same thing. If you guys have any questions about the league and you want to get entered or anything like that, let me know if anyone wants to sponsor the league. All that information is down in the description. Good luck, everybody. Go catch some good fish. Fishing's good, y'all. And I'll catch you guys next time. Sunfish King, out.